Good morning, everybody, and I apologize for being late. Uh, so uh, uh, anyway, Joseph is here and we are ready to go. Uh, welcome to the ProTrader webinar series continuation here. Uh, we have today uh, Joseph uh, J. Trader. Uh, he's a stocks trader and um, uh, he's usually uh, here every um, uh, uh, every month, I'm, I'm sorry, every uh, Wednesday at uh, 10 10 15 uh and he does live trading okay so uh, uh basically uh, uh he's a long time bookmap user and uh, uh you're going to get insight to what his process is like uh during the uh live trading webinars and during his mentorship uh what what he offers as uh as mentorship here so uh you know he'll go over um live analysis etc uh, how to read trades and optimize your entries and exits uh, Joseph began trading at the young age of uh, 18 years old, uh, trading European equities and covered warrants, similar to options. He's been trading um, a 30 to 40 million to, uh, uh, euros of uh, volume uh, each month, going over uh, 400 million per per year, mainly uh, using tape reading. Uh, and it fo he focuses on order flow and scalping, mainly trading U.S. equities and options, uh, and is the uh, main trader in the, his small cap room, which I'll give you the link to if you're interested. I have his contact information here. I'll be putting that into the chat for you, so if you want to reach out to him, uh, you can uh, you can do so. Uh, let's go over the risk disclosures, and then I'll turn it right over to Joseph. General disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation, demo, paper trading mode and strictly for educational purposes. Live trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance. So know what you're getting into here. Uh, this is not foreshadowing. Uh, for for uh, uh, following, it's it's for learning. Um, risk disclosure: trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading, and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. And with that, let's turn it right over to Joseph, uh, and he can take it away. Okay, good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Bookmap traders. Uh, Bruce, do you see over here a Bookmap on uh, AUVI and the charts? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to be pretty uh, quick explaining the uh, what I'm looking this morning. <clears throat> so we have a gap down uh, this morning on Python, Tesla, NVIDIA, which are the main ones. At the open, I'm looking for this pattern we had yesterday. So a clear rejection of the J lines and fail. So over here, you can see price below the 595, 596. I'm looking for a pop into the 597, maximum 598, fail the day lines, looking to buy puts 590. Weekly, same exact process over here on Python. I'm not going to trade options. I'm going to stay with uh, uh, the stock. Then we have NVIDIA, who's also looking at Apple, Facebook. You know that those are some of my favorite. <clears throat> Sorry. And uh, right now we're not anymore in a in a gap down. Seems like going for a gap up. We'll see it open, but I want to see a fail of this uh, line. Okay, this is the one minute J line, this uh, blue aqua line, a fail and a rejection of it. We can go then with a 695 or 700 put. Um, training at the open needs uh, speed of execu execution, very tight risk, uh, clear money management. About futures, so I, I look each day at ES, CL, and Q. In the morning, I look at DAX and FTSE. So right now, you can see that we are, let's put a, a five-minute chart. We are inside the previous day range, okay? So we're opening 42, 34, 42, 40. Not a huge range over here, not wide. We need to see a breakout. Ideally, a breakdown of 42, 30. And Q which last week was a little bit more trendy, um, trendier than um, 
then yes, can give us better results. So look over here, for example, yesterday morning, we had um, an over under and a rejection of the JLens two times, one time over here, second time over here, and then more over here, more over here. So you can see that you have a possibility of scaling in again. So these are the ones that I'm looking for, uh, big caps and futures. There are others for big caps, but the main ones are these. So I will just keep it open, NQ, Python, Tesla. And then if we have other setups coming up, traders, uh, just alert, okay, as usual in the, in, in the room. <clears throat> uh, another thing, small caps. We have day two and day one uh patterns day one pattern over here is spi so spi i report already the stats the data they have i'm gonna look for a jlen rejection into the 820 or a short vwap a40 or a gap in extension sorry or a extension play spike play to the a60 golden zone so we are the three main areas one two three when I see that we are stuffing web rejection, I'm going to enter on this. Yesterday, for example, I saw in the room that the majority of you traders took me this trade. This was a perfect JLAN rejection, and the majority of you shorted this level over here and covered down here. Okay, very good. Same on CAMF. So we're looking for the same exact pattern. I'm going to put over here SPI right spi is uh one of those stocks that we trade often has history of fading i uh, really like how it uh, performs so could be very interesting apre high volume pre-market 15 million so when i have something like this i just want to go check the stats with you so this is as to trade um as you know we are realizing this for the room for now members in room have a discount it's pretty good because in trading you need to know stats so you need to know for example this particular stock over here apre how many times on gaps faded what was the maximum extension what was the average of extension and we see over here that we didn't have any kind of previous gaps you see down here and uh, then we see 54 percent institutional ownership 50 million float and right now we traded 50 million, so basic is already flow rotation. Small market cap, 100 million. A history, you can go see the highest volume days. Financials, so they have zero revenue, uh, high, pretty big high cash burning ratio per month. And then we have a 77 million cash. The news is a phase half trial. Uh, generally, these news are gap and crap. Okay, so don't really look to, I'm going to cover more on AUVI. Uh, don't really look to to long something like this unless for a scout because they tend really to fail looking at filings when to see the last quarter let's see if now it's gonna upload okay so control f start looking at atm uh, you have to look in, in different forms okay atm and if you see over here we have a if i'm wrong correct me but uh, after my four hours of sleep, I could see that they have 50 million volume, uh, 50 million uh, shares, okay, to dump through market offering. And market offering means they can dump any time. You can read more about the, um, the balance sheet they have, the net loss, uh, the accumulated deficit. I mean, they have a company with 100 million market cap and they have an accumulated deficit of uh, 1.5 that, okay? So, is not that amazing company, all right? I will probably invest for my retirement. But do this every single morning. Um, so plan on this, being that we're holding with pretty high volume, is basically what's going to happen, what what, what happened yesterday on um, on ALF and the day before Enab. So at the open, they tend to have a blow up. So we'll probably have a 750, 760 extension, I, I'm telling you honestly, I will uh, short very, very small if I have a push to 770. And if I see sellers on bookmap, so bookmap will be on this. If I see sellers on bookmap, bookmap red, I'm going to load about size, nine, 10 times the uh, feeler. The first target is by uh, stats, 
the one minute Zeilands. And we get to the one minute Zeilands around 87, 90% of the time. Then from there, we can curl. I'm going to cut it, maybe even reverse to long. If we fail, we're going to recycle. That would be like probably like eating ice cream on the sofa. Okay, so very easy. What instead I think will be my A plus setup to go is already AUVI. AUVI, uh, I've been trading this uh, this morning, multiple accounts. I really like uh, these stocks that they push. The news is basically fluff. Start a feeler, uh, added, and over here on the second stuff I loaded. And then I start cover, very small, very small. Now holding two thirds. Want to see an unwind below 10. Okay, so at the open, what I'm going to do over here, at the open being that this is a gap and extension, you can see over here, left up corner, I'm going to look for a push into 1250, 1260 stuff, loading it is short, okay? Is it clear, trader, traders? This is really what I'm going to do. I'm not really looking for adding more stuff unless we have uh, new gappers coming up or whatever, all right? So let me prepare the charts. When I prepare, you see my charts a little bit smaller today because I'm using more um, I'm using more uh, resolution. Okay, so you'll see it probably bigger, but I cannot put too many book maps like two or three at a time with this kind of resolution. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna put over here APRE. Tesla is already reversing. We have Python and Q popping. SPY already gave a Zillion rejection, APRE, and AUVI over here. Yes, cover a little bit more, 1181 from average of uh, 1297 uh, on uh, AUVI. So one buck plus per, per, uh, per share. I got a bunch of bars. They were pretty cheap on APRE. We'll see if I use them. I mean, I don't have to have FOMO traders only because I have uh, bars, right? That would be only um, stupid. If we have other gappers coming up, like this morning we had EXFO, uh, GTEC, uh, Cat B, uh, we had also ARVL, uh, we had GNSS or others. Uh, please alert. I'm not going to cover. Uh, day two on ALF, I already covered that before in the room. Uh, I also posted that plan in the bookmap Discord room. Okay, so uh, you will uh, you will see it. For now, let's focus on these. So 45 minutes to go. Fifteen seconds ago. Focus on two stops, two stocks. Sorry, uh, one or two setups. Okay, don't overtrade. User dollar risk per day. Maximum stop loss. Open. I'm shorting up over here. Seven fifty. I loaded. So I loaded up. My average is 740. I don't know what is this music. Seven thirty-three, seven thirty-four. I'm still all in on Apri. We'll risk seven fifty-five, covering seven ten. Okay, I covered the big chunk over here. The 
have to be super quick using risk in the money. Want to see 720 maximum, my risk covering more 705 went. We'll show the trade after. Just let me give me time to close it. Out, out all, killed it. So that's really what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm going to put over here APRE, APRE, APRE. Okay, this is my trade. Tell me, did I have a good feel, traders? Did I have a good feel? Question. Okay. Trading with Malabi on two brokers, we murder it. We damn murder it. That is my style of trading. Okay. Short ask the top, fully loading the boat. Took 30 cents average, a little bit more. Cover everything. Now, who gives a damn? It's currently let it go. Who gives a damn? Okay. That's a setup. I call gap and extension. You go over here. What I wrote over here, Apri waiting for gap and crap, gap and extension, open to trade short. I remember a few minutes ago, I, I explained you what I was looking for. So it's everything there. You don't have to be really, it's, we are trading the playbook. That's all you have to do. Now let it blow up, let it do what it has to do. Oops. Tesla, I'm not trading this reverse fail follow through, okay? It's a reverse fail follow through. Python is a reverse fail follow through because on a gap down, they are like curling above the one minute J-list. So this is your long pattern, half size. Is it clear? But if I'm focusing, generally Mama Beer focuses on big caps and she takes the, the setups for me or options. If I focus on two, three things, I cannot focus on six. I don't have like octopus fingers, okay? Mm -hmm. So NQ rejection over here, the resistance. But only this I want that you learn traders. Speed of execution. And I'm already up like five figures for the morning between three brokers altogether. So I'm not going to push it. So we have SPY that didn't, didn't give us anything. So SPY, stay with the JLAN rejection. APRE, let it go. Let it go. This is a machine right now. It's written ALF. AUVI, the one minute JLAN, so let's wait for a bounce. And talking about ALF, hope somebody got it because it made a pop. Remember what I told you this morning? Look again, watch list. I think this is really our friend Ripster, if you know who is, is a very good friend. He wrote on social that mine is the best technical system around. So it's not me saying it, he's also saying it. And remember what I wrote over here, off day two, what I wrote short into low volume spike to five minute J lines or one minute J lines. Five minute J lines is the purple one. Is it clear? This is really what you have to do. But I don't have time to call this another 10 trades but we play a trading strategy with set risk stops back testing exactly but the plan was that this is like vtr that Janine took like three weeks ago if i remember correctly okay so let's have fun because that's the point don't be stressed let's have fun okay let's have fun Uh, Joseph, um, the heat map on that um, AFRI is um, really nice, uh, you know, for your your uh, gap and crap and and uh, uh, mm -hmm. on the way down. And then the, there they are on the bid and they're starting to show more activity and it, it bounces back up. Exactly. Uh, Bruce. So sorry if I interrupt you, Bruce, but what's also for me the point to cover round seven for this? Because I was seeing VWAP over here and huge amount of book map. Sorry, traders, if I don't explain this. It's maybe too fast to cover everything, then we can have a recap at the end of the session. But as Bruce saying, I cover over here the majority between 7 and 7.15 because we had a huge amount of uh, buyers. And I know that when I see this, they will find a bounce play. 
I mean, also the, the move up into the high liquidity on the offer at the very um, open yeah. there. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So let's see, traders, if we have other gappers or other setups. We have Ford popping. So TRCH popping again, remember, overextended play. RKDA is an old friend popping. So I need always to check the stats. These, these companies really change uh, market cap float and everything. It's very important for me to always be uh, precise on the stats, RKDA. In the meantime, I'm always checking Tesla, Python, NQ, if I can have setup from those. Remember, the other one was NVIDIA. So small flow, 19 million, 64, RKDA. Bag holders on the stock. Uh, history of fading, 70%. Uh, some cash, but a high cash burning ratio. So the money is good, like for a little bit more than one year, less than 1 million revenue. Okay, RKDA over here is another one that is going to be a good short. A daily resistance is around 3, 350. So RKDA looking for 350. TRCH is pushing more. TRCH is a pretty good high volume. Python lateral, so let's change it with NVIDIA. Apple maybe better. TRCH is having bars in one minute of 3 million. So pretty scary. I'm bad showing that, huh? Yeah. Pum, pum. Mm -hmm. Ford is still coming up. DCTX coming up. I'm waiting to fill on Tesla. Okay, so Tesla fail traders and J line rejection. So I put over here Tesla book map. We need to see the fail of this trend line at 596, 597, all right? And then we can look for a short. Lead spiking, thank you for the alert, Durnan. Lead is one of those stocks that we trade often. So I would really put some attention on leads only for who trades extension plays. So this is a B grade setup, I would say. APRE stuffed into that pre-market high, now to the J lines. SPY doesn't have much left, all right? Because simply unwinding with really no volume, you see the difference in volume between this and for example, APRE. Yeah. 
this morning, for example, I got on this. Yeah. There's nothing A plus in that case because they haven't touched that. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And same on uh, this. She didn't touch anything, mm. touch anything, touch anything. Then you can trade with others. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have a person next to you that with whom you can like relate and and share strategy ideas on the setups. Uh, so, Joseph, just a, a comment on uh, uh, some of your trading activity this morning. Uh, very nicely covered, I, I think, about the strategy and the clarity there of your strategy. You're always always very good with the clarity. Um, but then also uh, going by the statistics and the numbers, mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and then taking that trade because that's what you do. Uh, exactly. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. The volatility you might be wrong. You might be right. But um, you have statistics. So exactly. you are taking. You are taking your your trade because that is your strategy. Exactly. One of the exercises that I gave, for example, to mentoring traders, I posted even yesterday, in um, I believe even Bookmap Room, just to to show the guys. What they have to do so if i tell you that by stats okay um more or less we are between 85 and 92 percent that each time we have a gap in extension so a pop and fill the pre-market high we will have the touch of the one minute j lines that is edge you see now the use of the j lines this tells me, okay, Jay, we have around 90%. We will touch that level. So what are you going to do, boss, uh, Steve, Bruce? Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, I slept three, three or four hours. You're going to cover over here? No. You're going to wait for this. And over here, then, if you see, like, buyers, okay, we can start looking for possible buyers. If also we have book map, you see, fake breakdown, soaking over here and popping. So these are really the things that, I like to to focus on. That's my edge. Okay, Bruce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And then the 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 um, the confirmation there with uh, uh, looking at the order flow within uh, Bookmap uh, exactly. is is in line with your edge. Exactly. Because if I see at this price down here the support that we are looking at seven, if I see that at seven we have no support like order flow. No buyers over here getting in on times and sales. No kind of soak. Then Bruce, I'm not really going to trade it or if I'll trade, if I trade it, I will use very small size. So I need to be very, 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 very conservative. Okay, so uh, SPY is still rejecting going down. Uh, AUVI is still rejecting going down. APRE to the pre-market high, sorry, to the previous high, okay, high of the day around 770. The volume is pretty strong, so I will do like this right now. And Q gave us a very good dip long. So huge amount of volume, flow rotation, this APRE. These are really the stocks that will give more headaches if you don't know how to trade them. Personally, what I'm waiting for a big parabolic move in short or a dip to the one minute J lines and long. That's it. Okay, Tesla over here. The reason why I didn't call this long is a big gray setup. Why? We are inside the previous day range. So the zone is green, zone tells me, go long. But also I don't want any kind of previous day resistances. Instead, we have many. Okay, so that's the reason why I didn't confirm this long trade over here. NQ, Gabe, I would say a perfect dip to the J lines. Over here, see this dip to the J lines over here, 
hand over that one minute here. This is beautiful long. But again, it's not an A plus setup because we are inside the previous day range. So we can have this resistance, this resistance means that when I when I have to choose size, I will be cautious. Okay. So so you you may take uh, uh, trades with uh, when it's um, not breaking the uh, the daily. Yeah, but, but you will you will just you will just be you will basically be using the same strategy, but do, you'll be trading much smaller size because it's less probable. Exactly, and because let's say I'm looking for a long. And previous day, we had so many support, consolidation phases, uh, resistances, whatever. Each time we will uh, uh, like touch them. We can have a rejection. Uh, we can have a stall. We can have like a consolidation. So it's not something that we don't have overhead resistance for at least the previous three or four days, something that has already resistance. So when we go to that resistance levels, to those resistance, resistance levels, we know we will have sellers. We know that we will have maybe like um, uh, bag holders jumping out or others. Yeah, nice, nice point. Okay, let's see if we have the gappers. Mm -hmm. Spy starting to curl. EVI curling down. Apple over here curling exactly like uh, Tesla, and they're both following. Thank you. So AUVI, this is interesting over here. I'm going to put also book map. Do you see this curl over here on the one minute J lines? Let's see the volume. So that is 11.55, the long entry, okay? Because this is a simply a curl. And the risk is this one, 11.40. The first target, 11.90. So you have at least two R. Once you are one R in, Say we get 70, 75, then you put your stop break even. So holding the support. Now they're rejecting. I will explain and I will show if I have another setup. For now, this morning, as we had, was AUVI and uh, uh, APRE. So when the market is doing like this, so take notes, you have to wait that the 90 May can last even 15, 30 minutes. Uh, we'll push above this J lines, this green area. The 90 May is this uh, white line, okay? And then at a certain point, you will see that this nine will fail the J lines with a trend line break. This is not the setup. With the trend line break, that will be your entry. So this is still not a setup over here, okay? 
even if it goes down, I don't enter here. We have a pumper, remember MTSL? Who doesn't remember this? So it's halted over here. And this traders is the easiest setup to trade. This zone up here is your JLM rejection to short. Short on the ask, risk a couple of cents above the previous relative high, and then take the fade. Watching RKDA. Watching MTSL. I'm going to put them over here. So we put MTSL. Yeah, Joseph, I think you got to expand your uh, trading floor over there to catch all these names. <laughs> well, I'm screen sharing to to come to monitors. I actually one monitor, but I'm running over here four monitors. So my beer has also good eyes. MTSL. Okay. So MTSL has history of pumps. I like pumps extension with very low volume. So we'll see if we'll have any kind of A plus setup. So 9.56 will open MTSL. That's one minute and 30. Morsel of AUVI. Yeah, that's your J line rejection over here coming down. But let's focus one second. MTSL. So one minute to go. We'll see if we have something interesting. I need at least around 390 for to short MTSL. When I see extension on on trend break, it will short it. Put back Tesla, Apple, and Q. Okay, and Q is showing some big strength this morning, holding the 90 May and pushing up. From this dip to the daily, see how surgical this is.
Yeah, then will be 10 minute halt. Okay, so let's go back over here. Let's see the first APRE. You see, Trader, we are holding this J lines all morning. Okay, 30 minutes passed from the open, holding $7 number, pretty important level. Um, one, two, this is a three wave pattern. If you know it, we play in the room, this is a three wave pattern. Then we have AUVI. Still on that support 1070. Now below J lines. Spy faded, J line rejection to the main target on here. Uh, Joseph, another uh, very, very nice. I mean, the heat map has been fantastic in uh, APRI. Like, uh, mm -hmm. see how they, they, they pulled and then flipped to the offer. And then a nice drop down into the. Uh, yeah just up here they collected 780 more short and we could see a lot of stuffing up here a lot of stuffing they were soaking it they were trying and then once we didn't have any more buyers i saw all these red prints sellers jumping in oh Pretty i'm sorry one that, that one that one looks quite nice too i, I it's actually the other one uh, the auvi okay let's and uh let's take a look I think that's where you were. Um, yeah, yeah. This was the one of before. Yeah. yeah. So, so the uh, uh, the kind of flip. Uh, see, you, you have the heat map so extreme, but uh, maybe can can you zoom in just a little bit more? Yeah, I can do like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, into this level over here. Yeah, this is this is nice. Um, so they they got filled on the on the bid there, uh, you know, on on the way down just uh, around eleven dollars. But then it bounced back up. They're filled on the offer at eleven fifty five sixty or uh, mm -hmm. fifty fifty five. But then they pull on the way back down through eleven, uh, and then uh, they kind of flip. You can see that the that liquidity flips. It's still in there at uh, ten ninety two or so. Uh, and mm -hmm. a nice, a nice push down into 50. Meantime, traders, I'm short just now at 256 star GTT. After this stuff, low volume extension, waiting trend line break. So I will probably load the boat to 70 if I get to 70. For now, I have 256. And always look at the stats. And then I always look right away over here. <clears throat> my levels with book map. So I want to see here what I'm trading. GDT, it's a small cap. Financials, 150, 25, 56%. No big gap as before. This morning is up on. Patterns for some important incentive. I don't even know what it means. I don't care. They have revenue 424, but they're losing 60 million per month. So I think they're not too happy about that. Uh, we have to reduce a little bit of confusion over here. So let's put 3,000, maybe even five. Okay. So let's see together. I have a feeler. GTT, GTT is an SSR. MTSL opened.
watching this extension traders on MTSL. Let's put also over here MTSL. You see, it went to the 390, was waiting for this four. <clears throat> So right now it's totally guided. You see how perfectly it's guided. This um, this extension GTT is totally controlled. You can see how they they have this formation of ask and bid. Okay, so that means totally controlled move. Let's check the daily one second. Daily is simply like dangerous. Huge amount of bag holders. This company is a flop. I'm not really looking to trade this long. I'm just waiting to wait the moment I can load a boat. Starting to add, added big 82. So I added big 82 on this red bar. Want to risk maximum 90s. Empty cell all the way down. The volume is low on GTT, not that low. I prefer a volume that fades instantly like MTSL. You see EVK over here. Four cat B. See GTT. So I added GTT. See volume over here, 1 million. Remember this is on um, extension play. So I'm always keeping very smaller size versus the usual trade gap and rejection, gap and crap, gap and extension to open, SSR as well. MTSL performed very, very good. AUVI came to the main target down here. So beautiful AVI traders. So APRE, careful because we have this possible JLAN rejection coming. Okay, so APRE, GTT, I'm still in. Let's see, Tesla. Let's see also over here, ALT that we had this morning. Okay, our plan to short on that pop, and you see how reversed, and now boom, halted with high volume.
possible wash coming on GTT. They're still trying to hold this 90 May. Let's see when we'll fail below the 90 May and then we'll load the boat. So if we fail the 90 May and we curl down like WAF and MEDS yesterday and the day before, I will load the boat. For now, 280 is recycling over here. So we're refilling the bid. You see that 280 over here spot, now it went. Covering parts at 276. Covering mark 271, filled. VWAP over here, let's see. If we break the VWAP, we're gonna go 250s. They're trying to bounce over here, the VWAP, you see how they use it, but now we are below this 9MA. So until we are below 275, 276, I'm staying in with a, with a trade. So this for me is when you have conviction, Peeler, really like 100 shares, small add, add all the size, first cover small, stop now in the money, and looking for that unwind, okay? Alf pop over here, boom. Extension play, all right? So I wanna see this curl now, fail 265. So very useful to look, traders, at these big overhead resistances to see when we start seeing red prints and then trading according to that. Okay, so let's review over here. We have AUVI. So pre-market push. This you see is a gap and extension. When we have this, I'm looking for a pop into the golden zone. We got near the J lines, near the VWAP, sorry, to the J lines. Then push above 
trend break and now fail. This is the main target. Okay. AUVI. Thank you, Dernan. This is my buddy. This is what you will learn to do, but you have to study hard, hard, and hard. Very, very good, bud. So watch the list over here is very important. And I'm going to explain you why. Um, probably put it. Maybe I just explain it by voice when we're in pre-market with Bruce. Yes, 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 yes. So we were short over here. I show my short into the 13. We took all the fade and now went to the main fader. So why these are the A plus setup? They go all the way down. The point is the volume. Okay. Point is the volume. Once you start feeling this uh, golden zone, okay, you see this uh, golden area, we never reclaim it. We always start making lower highs. And the volume is super weak. So there's no point over here to basically buy or hold it. Okay. Lower volume, this will fade. No reason really to to trade this uh, long. All right. So this was AUVI. Anybody traded this? Easy, really easy fader. Really, really easy fader. I like this uh, this type of uh, pattern traders. I really like this type of pattern. Yeah, exactly. Then we add um, APRE. So APRE, very high volume. Remember, in uh, pre-market, this already flow rotated. And we just short this push. I got the short, showed the chart before. I posted it in the, in the score room of uh, Small Cap Room. We short over here. We cover down here. Basically, gap and extension covered the bid. Then, even over here, we had a big book map. I didn't feel comfortable trading over here. And now what I'm seeing instead is that this market is still giving pretty good opportunities with trend breaks and j rejections. You see over here, Malvier? Yeah. So this was APRE. If we continue to fade this morning, okay, if we continue to fade, this will still be a good setup to trade, right? Personally, I would prefer a reclaim of seven, a squeeze, and a push to 770. I would like to see one of these squeezes like this today. Don't tell me that it's simply done and that this will die like this. Okay. I would like to see some nice squeeze, more possibilities. And I like the, the traps because those are the environments that give us the, the majority of possibility to make money. We need volatility and liquidity. Um, Besides this, we had SPY, SPI, and SPY basically reacted by manual j -line rejection. This is like CAMF yesterday, CLSD yesterday, the same exact setup. So this is the easier setup. You see the volume is super low. Maximum was 300K per minute over here. Once we fail the 90 May, we go all the way down. Um, we had uh, Lex. Sorry, LEDs. This was a, a pump. How you know it's a pump? Volume. Something with 80K, it's just a pump. Then we had GTT, which I showed you my short from this area over here, over here, I loaded. I took my first cover down here. Now I'm waiting simply to fill down to 235, okay? So you start with a very small risk, and then you have to you have to basically bring your risk down with you. So it's not that okay, we're making more profit, and now the risk would be always the high of the, the day. No. The more the trade goes in your on your by your side, okay, in your direction, then always trail um uh, near you the uh the stop, okay. Any questions, traders, on this? Uh, there is a question uh, from Sviatoslav on um, uh, what system uh, do you use for your stats, collecting your stats? 
Okay, you can do that in so many ways and so many type of stats. Um, one, for me, basically the best is that you do it manually, manual backtesting. It requires dozens, maybe hundreds of hours, but that will bring you to a point where you will see the market clearer. So you will know what works, what not. And uh, you can do on small caps, on big caps, on futures, on long, on shorts, looking at targets, looking where to stop, looking at the time of the day for the pattern, looking at the flow versus the volume. There are many ways, okay? I cannot give you the formula, otherwise it's like, you know, not fair for who I mentor. You have to do this job by yourself if you really want to learn, because only by really doing the exercise yourself, uh, only by being there hundreds of hours, then you, with all that work, you learn the price action, you see how the chart patterns uh, worked, and that really gives you confidence. Yeah, I, I think that's a really good point. I mean, we've briefly uh, mentioned it in previous webinars, uh, Joseph, where, um, you, you know, there's a lot of people that uh, they, they'll just uh, do um, uh, back testing automatically, uh, download the data, you know, run a, a few, um, uh, uh, look for a few uh, strategies that, uh, you know, plays out automatically. Boom, I have an edge. Now, it, and it, it is a, a legitimate edge. However, uh, when you're going through it like this manually, uh, you're getting a real sense for it. And it's a lot of work, uh, but you are also understanding it uh, and uh, uh, the nuances uh, within it that is not being recorded by <laughs> automation. Exactly. Exactly, Bruce. And you miss so much of, I would say, scanning through charts. You miss a lot of this. You miss too much. Okay, traders, we have OPT. Uh, 25 million float is going up without volume, extended from 9 till 14, probably has a huge amount of spread. OPTT, halted 1016. Um, why they halted is limited, a good stock to buy, only for this news, say K or private, private issuer person secured this but two days ago, only for this financials, history, hmm, set filings. Around 75 million float. Uh, David is asking a question here about what's what's your highest winning percentage um, uh, pattern? Gap and extension or um, whatever. Gap and crap for hmm. small caps on the over for big caps and futures. And we're talking about, I would say, between the years above 70%. Some traders are doing maths better than me. There's Leo 50. I post a lot of things of him. 90%, uh, Janine, uh, Charlie. Uh, so they're like, focus only on one or two setups. A lot of people are having above really 80%. I've been doing a lot of YouTube videos lately, explaining these setups, explaining how to grow an account. I really suggest you to watch those traders. I think it's uh, pretty good stuff. Yeah, and uh, we, um, uh, I know you've posted uh, many things, uh, and, and thank you, Joseph, many things in our uh, Discord chat room when we opened up a, uh, a personal chat room for Joseph. It's a J Trader uh, room there, so he can post setups and other things uh, for you, Bookmap guys. Uh, just go directly there.
watching right now, uh, traders, the stock that we had this morning, okay? So GTT, uh, Tesla, Apple, Nvidia, APRE, ALF, and I'm looking for setups, okay? Uh, generally, when we start having 10.30, 10 15 10 30 11 o'clock i'm not that any more aggressive with the size so i slow down i want to show you a few things first on es so something like this it's untradeable when all the j lines so purple yellow blue are intertwined what are you going to do okay this is really like the snake pattern and then you have over here you like that, Bruce, the snake pattern? <laughs> you know, yeah, the, that, that, the pattern back in the 90s and all this stuff. So I just made up now. <laughs> I, I like it. Okay. So this is more trendy. Uh, five, far from the three, far from the one. And this level, for example, with the big heat map, is a very good support to enter long. Okay. So start watching for these. If we look at Tesla, really nothing to do over here. Apple uh, is playing on the over. Just now it's breaking the previous day hot. For now, no A plus setup. Then we have BA, just fading, waiting for a JLM rejection. We had Python this morning, laterally here, uh, B2. Uh, then I always look at um, ZM because this day, these days was uh, trending but no great setup that i that i really want to trade opt over here has a huge amount of spread uh halted immediately you cannot trade something like this what i want to check with you is uh some setups on uh, on small caps so uh, let's look also through uh book map i need to okay i need to always clean my Heat map. I don't want too much, uh, too, too many levels. Uh, for what I want, it's just like too confusion. So I try to keep it simple, more simple as possible. And for example, now we're at the J lines over here. Okay, we are having a lower high. We're still above this level. I will look probably if we can go with the 90 May at this level over here. Maybe taking 15, 20 minutes. 90 may fills the J lines, then I went there and trend line break short over here. And the tape over here has to be red. Ideally, you want to see overhead resistance. Okay. So that is really what I'm looking for. And then this is APRE. So APRE had the open gap and extension. Then we had AUVI that simply faded over here you see that the 90 may never came below the the j lines over here give a trend line break and fail main target uh, then we had spy spy gave a j line rejection so again j line rejection j line rejection start getting familiar with these terms okay start getting familiar and then we had gtt Sorry, GTT over here. Call the trade in the 290, 286. Uh, very low volume once we had this uh, trend, uh, sorry, trend line break. Lower high, lower high, fading, no volume over here below 200K on the one. So possible fail at the one minute J lines and then below two. Okay. So let's continue to watch over here. APRE uh, versus GTT AUVI is the only one that is actually holding APRE. APRE. So the highest volume stock of the day. 
This trade of traders 86 million and it's 1030. You see that resistance we have at seven over here. Let's watch it. So they're trying to break the seven. So we are above that seven over here. Remember what I told you before, expect the 90 may above the J lines and then curl down on the trend line break, all right? Okay, some resistance at 710. So at this point, I'm looking for sellers to jump in, but it's still early to jump in short. What I'm watching over here is the previous resistance. And I'm looking for this nine curling down and, and drop the 690 to short, right? Still bouncing over here. Okay, right now traders start watching on APRE over here. So 90 May is the J lines. Now it's becoming interesting over here. Resistant at 708, so this level. So we should see the fail over here exactly. With this kind of entry, 694 till 698 shorting ask. So trend line break, 90 may over here below. So our maximum risk over here would be 47 if we want to keep very, very tight risk, or 708 if we want to give a little bit wiggle room.
So more sellers, the red prints, you see it? Yeah, nice, nice order book and balance there as well. Yeah, you see how uh, also the new resistance jumped in at 695. This has now all the, we say, parameters for a good short. The main target would be 650. And it's very easy. We have to wait only the, the correct moment, right, Bruce? Yeah, ex exactly. Small bounce 680, but I don't see big volume coming. So uh, Doug is asking if you do a presentation like this every day uh, in your room. Every single do, uh, day I do this in, in the room, buddy. Yes. Yes. Showing the trades, showing the executions, explaining the setups, uh, teaching traders, day trading. Okay. And we go over small caps, big caps, futures. Uh, live for the first from 9, 9, 10 till almost 11 a.m. East. Then once a month, we have a, a webinar and then afternoon and generally there at 1 p.m. for the afternoon session. But when I'm not there, like there are like some pro traders. And uh, the point is to really teach traders the setups that are working. OK, that are working. Uh, I post a lot of really good content on YouTube. Um, made uh, a video even like this Sunday with uh, Transpider. I invite you to watch it because I talk about short squeezes and how the, the algos manipulate the price in order to trap, okay? So they create like this uh, this, this base that they, they trap the, the retail trader, okay? So they, they come to hunt your stop losses just to, to put you out with the stop and then they do whatever they want. So there are some uh, uh, some techniques to identify this and I also use bookmap to spot this behavior, okay, this behavior. And I would say that in big caps, 80% of the strategies that we trade are long, okay? So big caps means also directly trading future uh, trading uh, uh, options futures in this market again long small caps i would say 20 percent long 20 uh, 80 percent short 
This doesn't mean that we don't trade long setups. Uh, for example, there are traders like uh, Hamar, uh, other traders that are trading only long. But that you will have, I would say, more possible stocks that will fade during the day versus the one that will run. Okay. So GTT one minute Jalen is remember traders. This is exactly just wanna show something. Ye yesterday Bruce I made a, a small lesson. It was using Bookmap. Now I cannot use Bookmap of yesterday on these two stocks, but Bruce, look over here with me. You see this stock is going up. Okay, this is a pump. Generally, pump have no news or really fluff news. They start not at 9:30. They have pump even like 9:51. 2 p.m. and it simply goes up once we have a trend line break and then we start fading and having a, a setup lower highs you see that the volume how it it really lows lowers over here below 200k you know that from this moment it will be the fader so i was talking with uh, the the members yesterday that we had meds and basically meds is the same thing because once we had the extension over here this is one of the extension techniques i really like the volume you see is very weak we break the trend line we start falling below the 90 may always lower highs and again j lines in there the day before we had wafu always say wafu wafu you see over here pump at 1 pm so you already know that something with bruce 700k the first bar and then right away after 350 and then Five minutes later, 156, not gonna last so much. So you have your trend line, but over here, trend line, you can you can take it or not take it. It doesn't matter really. What it matters is when we start falling and see this volume below 200k per minute, and the price starts to make lower high, lower high, and then you see again what we get? One minute daily is M5. So this for me is really money maker. I did this on GTT, I did this on um, no, meds no yesterday because I, I was just late. But I do this often, often. I, I did this on KBS uh, the, the, the last week. And trades like this for me are really like low risk, uh, free money. Okay. And that's your, your number one um, uh, setup? Mm, I would say number two setup. Yes, number two setup. The number one is my J line rejection over here. You see Tesla simply sick, sick, and sick. All these are J line rejection. All these are J line rejection. Simply sick. You don't have to be a genius, okay? You just need to follow the rules, the plan, the risk management, take time. So traders who get in market in one month and they think it's like following dogs that when it goes up because some billionaire pumps it and you will make money sorry bro you're a moron go play bingo you have more chances being a stock trader or a future trader or an option trader or even a crypto trader requires a lot a lot of work if you put the work and you can ask whoever that i'm mentoring uh you'll tell the same jay's is uh giving a lot of work and that work really changes your ability to recognize the patterns uh, earlier, uh, change the ability to understand the market, the manipulation, the, the traps. And basically the most important thing is you build the strategy. Because for example, me and you, Bruce, can trade long. You probably want to long, you know how to long good, the same setup, I cannot, I'm not able to trade it. Maybe the same stock, same setup, or whatever. And maybe if you give me another setup, like let's say I long this time instead of the big caps, while you are in small caps, my win rate is simply like so much better because everybody is um, is different. Everybody has a better, in um, I would say, imprinting for something else. We're not all the same. Let's see APRE over here spiking. I was hoping not to spike anymore because I gave back all my bars. 
just holding with one broker. <laughs> so this is one of those stocks that we have a flow rotation. It's one of those stocks that they're still holding the open level over here because we are basically just below the open level. This is one of those stocks that personally I wouldn't suggest to trade unless a big stop 750 or a fail, clean fail of the Jalen's rejection and then unwind until six and lower. And we're gonna put this with APRE. Okay. Uh, David asks about uh, when is the best time to play your J-line rejection? Pre-market, first hour, if you have a fader, late a fade after 1, 1.30. Vice versa for the long side. You see over here, traders, we are collecting more longs, okay? How do I know this? Because we are curling. Each time we curl, I see they're collecting more longs. But above, we have pretty two big pretty resistances, 730 and 750. Careful over here. Really, really careful. So I'm going to put APRE. Yeah, I would love to see this reject below, right there where the heat map is, and then below, what is it, 708. And it should come off down to your uh, 680 level. Mm -mm. Careful over here because it seems like they're gonna put 726 and stuff it. Let's see if we're gonna have a sex 726 and stuff it. At least if I would be the market maker, I would just make that. I can be wrong, but I believe that's a very good position possibility. So I'm trying to push it over here. Give me the 725, 726. I don't want to short Bruce only because I'm at the VWAP, which means nothing, and only because I have a lower volume in these last two bars. I'm preferred to wait if something like this. I still have time. I know this kind of pattern can require like 15, 20 minutes, okay? Okay, now dropped. Nothing you can do if we drop like that. Sidelines for me. That's very difficult. 
yeah or you scalp it and you jump in while it's going but personally i prefer like to to wait for it So if we look at the, at the stock over here, you can see that we are still lateral, okay? Yes, we dumped, but we didn't have any kind of fail follow through. Still at 660, 670. And I'm not looking to trade now laterality on a j -line rejection. Simply gonna wait over here, okay? This is not like a downtrend, it's still lateral. So for me, nothing to trade right now. I never trade when we're lateral, never. Okay, support test. AVXL grinding over here. Vino grinding. Vino had news with uh, Amazon, if I remember correctly. Okay, so another test of the support over here. I don't see buyers at the moment.
a lot of laterality in the big caps. So we're not really looking to trade until, yes, we'll give some range today. Yeah. So what I'm doing, Bruce, is to recognize the days where I will have a lot of volatility. So I just look in my parameters with futures, yes, and Q mainly as the, the main stocks that I follow. So Tesla, Apple, uh, Google, Nvidia, uh, Facebook, uh, Zoom, um, they follow pretty good the, the, the NASDAQ index, also even the, the yes would say. Sometimes we'll have a news, an upgrade, uh, downgrade, so they have a high relative uh, strength today. But otherwise, I will use the indexes futures as a guide. So when these guides, like this morning, they are basically not running, they're basically still in consolidation or inside yesterday range. I'm not really looking to um, oversize or not even looking to trade sometimes full size on the stock. I will still trade a decent amount of position because that's the pattern. But in reality, I'm looking to take off earlier um, a trade, okay, so for a profit, because I know that we have more supports, more resistance, can be more chop. So if we look in Q is one thing, and then we look Apple over here, nothing really great, uh, still inside the previous day range. Uh, we look at Facebook, lateral. We look at NVIDIA, lateral. We look at Tesla, lateral. So at least for the morning, this doesn't mean afternoon we won't have any kind of setup, all right? Because afternoon maybe everything can change, can change, all right? So now is morning, afternoon traders start looking around 1 p.m., 1.30 p.m. if we have reversal or if we have a breakout or breakdown. Looking again at uh, AUVI. The, the fade over here, looking at APRE, the fade over here, looking at GTT. The fade over here, looking at SPY, the fade over here. So also nobody, really nobody, a little bit disappointed. Also, nobody told me that this is a million dollar pattern. So especially as traders in a small cap room, that they know this setup and we have been working a lot with this setup. This was the million dollar pattern. I made a video, traders, for this. Gives you entry 863, your risk 885, now it's 703. It's important, traders, to keep always these stocks in your watch list because they can really give you some good surprise at least with the hourly chart always have a one hourly chart it will always be three or four r if the trade goes at least for the million dollar pattern so we have a very small cap vino i'm watching vino over here never had a huge amount of volume traded yep so let's see their financials over here, 5 million cash, revenues, they're losing all this cash in about 10 months, they will be red. Okay, Vino. Let's see, let's put Vino over here. I know they have the deal with Amazon.
cannot find the bars on this. Mm. Vina will be a very good short traders, like GTT. Any uh, anybody has bars? Checking on second broker over here. Okay, now I found them. So I'll be looking to trade Vino and extension into the six. It will open in about uh, 15 seconds. Mom, uh, yeah. can you send a message? Yeah. 10 seconds to go. Okay. Let's see if I got filled. Yeah, I got filled very cheap at 65. I want to see 70. Let's see. I hope for a more extension traders. Want to see 580, 590 short in Vino? Come on, order flow. Give me a push to this 580. Okay, got uh, it. Listened right to Sorry, you. 580. Short and more, 590. So my average is 584. We don't have any more bars on this. Volume is very weak, and there we are. Boom, wash. 544, 554 covering partial. Big one for me, really big one. I will show my trade. 540 covering more. Sick dump. Then I gotta fill second one at 540. Got fill now. Let's see. Baba. No. But basically, I'm trading the, the extension over here. You can see, right? Uh, short feeler loaded the boat. Boom. Okay. So very, very easy. Waited that time. It said I was looking 596. But you have to press like 2,000 times for the bars. Trust me. I am still pressing because I got pizza money bars. Okay, now there are 0070. Yes, I got also there. My beer got some. So we want to see a fail at 4.9, okay? Beautiful. I told you it was a pump and dump. You don't trust me, traders. You really don't trust me. We trust you. Covering more 27. Okay. Another easy one. Another easy one. Shorting with average over here, 580s. Boom. Covering down here, 540, 520. Now looking for 450. That's all you need to do. Okay. So easy to trade like this. So easy. Bread and butter. Okay. Extension plays. I'm happy also because my cousin, in uh, and I showed even uh, his broker this weekend, today, is up 1,000, 100% on his account. And I show you the stats from the broker from the second, 22nd of March, from 1,400 to almost 15 today. Not bad for somebody that 
blew up two times and then he was down 50 percent on this account in four months then finally started to study not bad this is the only thing i want from beginner traders is this one j line rejection that's all it's all i want from you And DSD over here is another trader We're using order flow. He started with me mentoring almost four months ago. Uh, last week he made 5K. So he's starting to size and we will start doing numbers together. Um, he's, he has a better win rate than me, around 87%. Five fifteen, five fifteen, five fifteen. Amazing, amazing, amazing trade. Amazing trade. Amazing trade on Pino. And I even love the name. <laughs> it's amazing this thing, right? You know what Vino means, right, traders? Uh, Chris Wilkins, when you talk about wine, he short it as well. <laughs> Hope to see you in Rome on the second. Beautiful, bud. Beautiful. Yeah. Very, very good. Very good. See, second one. Yeah. Slammed it. We slammed the pig. Good. I couldn't get huge amount of bars, but I got really only 2K. I want to like five at least. I press 1600 times. I couldn't have. Then some on uh, uh, Cobra with Mama Beer. And uh, that's it. That's it. Now is the time we want to see 490 over here, right? Uh, Stefan is asking. St so Stephane, at this Stephane. point, I'm looking over here on the order of flow. Are we selling or we are holding over here and buying? If we put, if we put traders, um, heat maps over here at seven, they simply stacked. Another one is over here. If we go away with this five, 480, okay? 480 is sweet, 480 is sweet. Yeah. So it's nice to trade all together like this, but you cannot trade following alerts. I mean, Chris Wilkins and others, they trade with me because they know already the setup that I'm going to trade because they started, they've been here a long time. So take your time, study, ask Bruce, ask me, um, learn the order flow. This is the confirmation of the majority of the mentoring members I follow, okay? So for me, it's really like best tool I can have. But like everything, you need like a method, discipline, risk management. Five bucks going.
O R P H push O R P H push traders O R P H push Anybody with me watching O R P H we'll start to put some things on O R P H want to see the volume want to see over here Don, it's not OPT, okay, this morning, it's ORP, ORPH. So a couple of days ago, we had 7 million trade over here. This has 25 million float, uh, low institutional ownership, uh, open orphan shares climb on proposed distribution in species. Wow, what a news. If you can translate, then you tell me, okay? gonna halt it's gonna halt yeah went from yeah 13 up beautiful what I believe bottom over here look with me I have a solid plan on this one honestly this will have a pop till 16 and fail to bucks okay I'm even gonna write it so RPH will pop by I would say stats on extensions that I have collected Mid morning to about sixteen dollars at open and fill two bucks. Okay, possible that now what I'm what I'm gonna do. I don't really care about looking at the history over here, looking at the financial. Not not now. I mean, it doesn't really matter. That my point is more about looking at the order flow. Traders, I think we lost Bruce. <laughs> no, I'm 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 here. Can you can you hear me? I think we lost him. <laughs> can you this hear is me? Getting serious. Uh, everyone, can you hear me? You could or maybe just yes. Got the scene on traders. <laughs> so Joseph, if they can hear me, um, I guess you cannot. So I'm out entirely on that dip on uh, Vino. It will rescale in, and I'll tell you when I rescale in by using the strategy. Okay. So I'm looking for the cheapest bars over here. So halted in 11, 09 and 50, so 14 and 50. So this is Carfit Traders. His name is Robocop. He likes to trade both long and short. In this case, uh, he shorted the pop 90 May and then he shorted J line, J line's cover, J line, J line's cover. So sweet, right? You can see that he's not trading so much difficult things over here. Uh, he's trading simply J line rejection, no covers, J line rejection and covers. All right? It's not that difficult. Even over here, J line rejection, J line rejection cover. Over here, stuff into the VWAP. He took that stuff over here, so I told you he's fast caliber like Charlie. Okay. Probably if he were in, a, in, in the West like 150 years ago. And they had to shoot me at, at lunch. I would be probably the first dead over there. Okay, look at the, how fast they are. So Vino 515. Let's see if Vino gives us 550. Come on.
I'm going to read better the news on RPH. RPH, let's see. So let's see what comes up over here. Joseph, uh, if you can't, if you can hear me, uh, there's some questions here. Maybe we'll invest in Sunstone cut stake after retail investment driven rally. Okay. Should open now. Short it around sixteen. Short around 90. So my average is 16, covering half 1480, halted, big one. 2K profit in two minutes. Bang. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. This is my trade. 2K trade over here. Sorry, this is Vino. <laughs> <laughs> One second, traders. Uh, where was it? ORPH. ORPH, ORPH. This over here. You can see it simply loaded. Balls in between 1560 and 1610 loaded and I cover about yeah 2k trade on that so oh actually it gave me like well let's see where we'll start let's see where we'll start but at least 2k easy on this one so going for a pretty big five figures today and I slept four hours Woke up at four, relaxed over here, watch one hour NBA, Brooklyn versus uh, Milwaukee. Then I went to the gym around uh, seven, start working my nine o'clock until now is my 5.15 p.m. nonstop. Probably work another four hours and that's it. That's all you have to do. But when in a day you can make like uh, three or four K or 10, 15K or 200 dot bucks, but consistently, okay? So the point is to be consistently green. It's not one day you make 50K, the other day you lose like 150. I try more to teach consistently, consistency. Okay. Did you like today the screen share? I mean, otherwise, there's always warriors, huh? Uh, sorry, this is me being a prick. I just wanted to follow the pumps. Trust me, 
follow all that we traded okay we are on apre gap and extension to open all rest becomes a little bit more choppy but then uavi we short a pre-market uavi auvi auvi we short a pre-market then we had a zayla rejection target then we had gtt and i said looking to short in that 290 287 boom 245 and this could leave still to 220 and then we had vinyl the fourth one we took that extension 57580 and now it's going 465 and now we trade it also over here orph okay so five on five five on five okay i just don't want to wait 10 minutes over here so he's 16 this should open between maybe one minute and a half or otherwise six minutes and a half right i already put out some covers i don't know if we'll get filled but when you're short with average 15 80s and now you see they're going to open 12 40s And you're like two thirds of your size in. Not bad. So let's see if it opens in about one minute, traders. Okay or it has 10 minutes after this i don't really want to trade anymore it'll be tired thank you Gemma. still waiting the donuts mm -hmm. So when I have that set up, the main target is 12. My main target now is 12, okay? My main target is 12. But I will take a little bit of profit, ideally, ideally really at 13, okay? Vino is dying. What a trade on Vino, what a trade on this one. Vino is dying. okay should open over here no then we have to wait another four minutes and a half you know So Vino over here, we got the 580s, pump and pump. RPH over here. And then you know we got the pump and pump. And then we got the black one over there. Okay, so we got black. And we have GTT. Okay. APRE.
Okay, two minutes to open. One minute to open. Anybody on ORPH with me, traders? Okay. Oh, Hunter. Hunter, remember the plan we should discuss yesterday, buddy. <laughs> okay, Chris. Arcane is the same. Sunny the same. I I knew it's keeper. You don't even have to send me this, bud. I know your star, buddy. <laughs> let's see, let's see for more and wine, okay? Probably 12 to 50 dip, some bounce, and then tonight you have 11. Okay, it's gonna open, open over here. Let's see if it covered partial. Yes, I already covered partial 13. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah. So I already covered partial traders over here at the open. Look, my trade. Okay. Boom. Not bad. Five on five today. Not bad. 13 is going, look the red prints over here. Bye bye. Trust me, we'll have 11.50. 11.50, we'll maybe take 20 minutes, but we have to stay in. Really, 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 then not expect today, uh, totally like 35K for the day, not bad. For me, was saying I will trade small. And actually did, but even with four or five K on these trades, you can make a lot. Ma bear always better. I'll be here. Where I will add. If I have a push to 15, I will add something. Okay. I will tell you if I'm going to add something. They removed the liquidity at 68. 14. I added 14 over here short. Add a short 14. Add a short 14. Add a short 14. So with this add 14 short, I want to call right away in the game these 14 over here, down here. Let's see. What a nice ad. What a nice ad, traders, I did. Now I can use that ad break even.
I need a break of 50. Yo, what a ad. Simply spectacular. So I was looking over here that pop into the heat map, okay? And then I said, okay, I have a very good average for cycle. And you know what I did? I did this. I showed a top tick over there, you see it? And I covered down here. This is my cover from before. This is my ad. This is my cover over here for that ad. So I made 70 cents risk-free, was risking two cents, and I'm still holding a partial, a big partial from up here. So this is a really money maker for me. Is it clear the process? This is the only way you have to do this. That's how you recycle trades. Gemma, you here, miss? This is this is stress free now. Stress free. It seems like the how you call? Uh, the, it's like recycling around the core because you still keep your partial from up here. You just wait, this goes lower, lower, lower. Thirteen over here will probably bounce, so I cover more, buddy. We'll probably spike fourteen eighty now. Okay, so I covered more. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, let it go down. My next target is eleven fifty. Why J lines? Okay, J lines. I need the volume to be below two hundred k per minute over here. Vino still holding. Look the pop over here. So I'm sharing with you traders all my trades over here, okay? I'm gonna recycle a bit from about 15.
Okay, I showed traders all the trades that we took. <clears throat> so this is made for the day. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Personally, I want to reshort short you know, stuff. Listen, very good. Fifteen thirty. Okay. Is it clear? Are the setups clear, traders? There, I'm doing screen share longer. Mama, yeah, Mama Bear pushed me to do this with Bruce. So if tired, just like. Okay, you see that volume over here is pretty big. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's pop. Short a small 21. Short a small 50. Golden zone over here, let's see. Short and more. At 1570s. Covering 15. Let's see if I grab some. Yeah, I grab half. Wash coming. Possible wash coming over here, stuff below 15. My average is 15.47. Covering the 20, went. Covering the 10, murder it. Another 5K on this trade, goes below 15. Huge one, huge one, huge one, huge one. Sick, 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 sick day. Holding small. And what I did, traders, that's what happened. Yeah. Look, the book, how beautiful it is. This is my short. These are my covers. Holding now for 13.70. I want to size and more, and I want to see for this done. Golden zone rejection, bookmap together with me, so easy. This is really like robbing money to a baby. Hmm. I'm out all in the money. Let it go. I want to see it below this one, above this one. Yeah. Yeah, it's 5:40. Getting stuffed. He's getting stuffed. I'm getting tired. <laughs> oh my man.
So hope you learn something about day trading today. These are my ads. Okay, we did like two hours and a half. I'm totally exhausted. I'm not gonna trade anymore. Um, review what we did. Pretty proud of the majority of you. Who is not still profitable? Trust me, it takes months, 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 months. Okay, don't think that one month over here, two months, you'll make one or two K a day. It's not like that. Uh, but if you study, I can tell you that you can do that and much more. All right. And you see that it's not me talking. You can see from the from the traders that are basically in the room. Bookman today was over here, like my guide in each trade. So when I see big resistance 16, I feel more comfortable shorting to this area 15, 63. Okay. All these where we trade are not A plus setups are like gap and extension plays. Thank you, Lucky Permit. Thank you, Chris Wilkins. Thank you, Nan. Thank you, Ian. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Thank you, girls. <laughs> what a clinic. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Bruce, are you still here, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I Just, I, I wrote you in Skype or uh, oh, Discord. Okay. You have to forgive me, but I used to hear the noise while you were talking. And I don't know, I thought like you were on the radio. And then I lowered just like my, my stereo. I said, maybe Bruce is just like in the car, hanging uh. around, like having fun. <laughs> <laughs> can you Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you, but sorry. Oh, sorry oh, okay. No, no problem. <laughs> No, you were on a roll anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, excellent, excellent webinar, uh, Joseph. Thank you very much, bud. Thank you very much. Um, any other questions, traders? Otherwise, I will go <laughs> and and uh, vanish from the office today. No, besides, I'm kidding. What me and uh, Bruce decided with Bookmap to do is how to use a tool, which is in this case Bookmap, to have really a lot of conviction in your trading. I know that when I'm trading, like this morning I was trading, um, it's I cannot simply explain every single feature or all the dynamics over here. For example, when I said I'm shorting this here over here, right? And I was looking again for this golden zone and this big red resistance over here and popping three times, that is like, okay, Jay, you can short over here because maximum you have like that 30 cents risk for a $16 box stock that's fine so all of this gives me capabilities of being uh with size of entering with size and making huge uh, return okay bruce do you want to add anything else will you make like a barbecue for us someday <laughs> that sounds great with lots of vino um so uh uh uh, no, I think, um, guys, there's lots of questions in here. I I'm sorry, I, we won't be, be able to get to them. We've already, I mean, just has been going like, a, you know, two and a half hours here so far. Uh, maybe uh, if you guys want to hold them for next time or if you want to reach out to him directly, uh, uh, I put the uh, email uh, in the chat several times over. So it's in there. You'll see it and all of his... Uh, uh, links for his website, mentoring services, um, specials on Bookmap, all that kind of stuff is in there. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's just uh, um, uh, call it a day. I think uh, Joseph, this is the longest webinar we, we've ever had. So uh, yeah, but thank I think you. to have days like this, Bruce, we should do it again from nine o'clock uh, because that... uh, traders learn so much more. I mean, we ha we don't have like so many big caps or future setups. Uh, today we had a lot of small cap setups, which were like gap and crab, gap and extension, extension, curls up, and that's really, really amazing. We went over like big caps, also the patterns. Uh, we went over the futures patterns, but you have to stay basically where the market is paying. I, I agree. I mean, like uh, our, our webinars have, we used to be half an hour to then they went to 45 minutes. Now they're like an hour, an hour and a half. But we can just cover so many more instances of what's going on. And I think it's so helpful for people. 
uh, mm -hmm. to put these put these pieces together and see it in real time. Uh, it, you know, it takes a little bit of maturing of the market to to for it to unwind a lot of cases. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, yeah, let's do it again. Uh, sounds great, Joseph. Um, and um, uh, guys, sorry like uh, about the questions there. Uh, we we didn't have access to Joseph for a bit to ask questions, and uh, uh, it's just been very long webinar here. Why don't we uh, uh, wrap it up and uh, we'll continue it next time? Okay. So thank you, traders. Thank you, Bruce. First of all, thank you, Bookma, for having me here. Uh, see you next week. Pizza for everybody. If you come in Italy from the two to the fourth of from the second to the fourth of July in Rome. Okay. Even you, Bruce. Okay. Uh, sounds, sounds excellent. Thank you, Joseph. See you, See you traders. Love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.